Hello guys, this is Almost Ender here, and we're back with Destiny 2. Also, and yeah, but also there might be a little bit of confusion, considering in my last video, I'm on like episode 3, and now I'm instantly nearly max level on a completely um, different character. That's because I played through the rest of the game on Twitch streams, so yeah. Yeah. I didn't record mine. Yeah, sorry if you missed that. But anyways, me and Iron Golem are about to join a new clan. But first, we want to get the clan XP reward on I'm our like second characters. I'm six, 75% complete. Yeah. This okay, is Taz's so uh, Iron, or this is Taz's um, Warlock, and this is my Hunter. And yeah, we're just gonna Both go. We're just gonna go do some quick play. But first, we're gonna show our loadouts. So we're trying to let's, run. Let's, uh, let's start with yours, JC. Yeah, we're trying to run slightly different stuff than usual. Oh. Um. Because usually we just run Uriel's Gift, Bear Devil, Sins of the Past. That's all we use. Yeah. But um, we're gonna change it up. So, on the Hunter, as you can see, I have two raid gear pieces. I did the raid once on this character. Um. I'm using for my primary the Autumn Wind. It's a very underrated pulse rifle, but it's actually uh, a really nice one. Mm -hmm. it, it bursts down really quick. And for the secondary, I'm running Risk Runner just because it's a nice ooh, and fun gun. Yep. And then for the last one, I usually use this. This is just what I'm using. I'm using Sins of the Past. Masterwork. I, I find it ironic how you're using a Warlock shell on a Hunter. Oh yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> also, if you want to see the perks I'm using on all of my guns, here they Let's are. Let's check your Gunslinger perks real quick. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm going the Swarm Grenade because this one never works and this one barely does anything. I'm doing you're this. Gonna see, you're gonna need to say more than this one for my. Okay, weapon. incendiary grenade, trip mine grenade. I don't like those very much. I'm just going swarm grenade. Also, this can actually get some kills. I'm using marksman's dodge because it's nice to reload. Um, triple jump because why not? And way of the outlaw because I get six instead of three shots. Yeah. Okay, so now should we go over my loadouts? Yes. Oops. Okay. So, so yeah, Taz. I'm running. I'm also running a very unorthodox set. I'm running a vigilance wing, which is more built around PvP. A last hope, one of the best sidearms in the game, and Hawthorne's shield for a shotgun, which is a full auto scout or shotgun commonly not quite or not quite as commonly used compared to the um perfect paradox now let's take and i'm running the ophidian aspect as my exotic uh armor now let's take a look at my uh storm collar i'm running burst glide and um, best glide in my opinion i'm yes. running the healing rift because so that i won't die as much and I'm gonna run Pulse Grenade because it's the best gren one of the best grenades in the game. Yes. And I think I'm actually gonna swap to the uh, top branch. Interesting. I'm gonna swap to the top branch right now. The Attunement of Conduction. Also, I'm not running an exotic. Actually, yes, I will. I'm Usually going. I'm going to use the knucklehead radar just to improve co quality of life. I usually run better devils, Uriel's gift, and Telesto. Interesting. With, okay. Uh, like, and this character is pretty new, so I don't have like Crown of Tempest or anything. Let's I load into quick play. In recently. What? We're loading into quick play now. Okay. 
I just wanted to try this unorthodox method first. I don't know if I'd call it an orthodox, but a lot of people say this gun's really good, but I don't know, I'm not much of a fan of it. So are you what, gonna throw the ornament way? on it? You talking about vigilance wing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put on, yeah, there's the ornament. I sorta of like it better without, but you know, why not? You gotta flex on those not pay to win people. Exactly, hey, I'm not pay to win. Um, We probably should have mentioned a spoiler warning. If, in case we talk about some stuff, but whatever. Yeah. So this video is probably going to be edited with Iron Golem's point of view added in. Hopefully. In some parts. Control. Yeah, so we can see some uh, of the funny things that happen to him. Yeah. And there might be some simple editing. Also, this should have way better recording quality because I'm using OBS instead of Bandicam. I'm sorry, Bandicam, if you can sponsor me I'll, uh, and fix your program, I'll use you again. Well, sponsor would just be fine. I don't think they, I'm pretty sure <laughs> good enough. Let's not get crazy here. <laughs> Taking out of power. Nope. Okay. Nice, first kill. Oh, that's a double over there. Or two people I met. Oh, and there's the bouncing hard light. The bouncing hard light. And here's a level two. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh, we killed each other. He had one health. He was like one shot. We both had zero health. And I'm right behind you. Is it just me or are we playing against really low levels? Ooh, wow. I don't think all of them actually are low levels, they just feel like it. Well, no, I see like a level 10. I saw like a level three, I think. Huh. Yeah, also this is kind of a competition in a way between me and Taz. This loadout is actually really nice. Yeah. Let me I go steal heavy. some heavy. And I'm using Sins of the Past, which in case you don't have it, you should really get it. And um, if you ever want to do the raid with us, and you're watching this on PC, because that's what we're doing. Stream. Yeah, but if you ever want to do the raid with us, um, say, say your battle tag or Discord in the comments, and we'll do it with you. Because uh, I have five, uh, I have four Leviathan completions and one Eater of World completion. I have three uh leviathan completions in one eater world's completion we done most of it uh together come on oh that's crispy Dude, this is crispy. I'm fragging out. Autumn wind? Yeah, autumn wind and this the risk runner. In the vigilance wing is pretty good too. Zone zone oh, there's two of them. Well, before like yesterday, I didn't even know the autumn wind existed. Now it's one of my favorite guns in PvP. I do. Oh, oh, a double. Let's go. Well, I got that second kill. Should I use the Goldie? Nah. No, not yet. Actually, YOLO. Power play. They're capping C. Okay. I just got two kills with my Goldie. Nice. Yes, we are breaking them. I thought he said they're dominating the field, and I checked the score. I'm like, uh, what are you saying, Shax? What is this pleb doing? Okay, he's he's being a real pleb, pleb. Okay, let's go, risk runner. Oh, got thank him. you, and I got two points for that. 
I think Autumn Wind is better than, uh, uh, what's, what's the other one called? Which, the thing oh, is, the thing is, this gun is a, it's one of the infamous reskins from Curse of Osiris that a lot of people were upset about. That, like, um, some of the newer guns in Osiris were just reskins. Because actually, a lot of them are. People were complaining about that. Which, this one is an exact reskin of the Nightshade, but I think it's better in Crucible. Because it, it literally is a Crucible weapon. Like, you get the drop from Shax. Yeah, this gun's even good at close range. Oh, what's your aim doing, JC? Okay. Thank you. My heavy. Yay! Ah. Have you gotten heavy yet? Oh no! Okay, I guess that's For stealing your heavy. We're both doing good. Yeah. Except I'm in number one. We are in number, number one. Don't be lost. Did that guy just pees when he wasn't even at lo when and he already took out his shield? <laughs> Yeah, this, this gun's actually really oh. nice. Oh no! I almost meleeed an arc strider. Oh, the Orbeez and the Heavy. Should I use it? Yeah. Aww. I got two blues. Usually get? Yeah, but I that's fine. got two blues. Look at my KD ratio. <laughs> and it's on recording. I do good too. Yeah? Ooh, that's crispy. I actually really like that gun. The Autumn Wind or the Vigilance Wing? Vigilance Wing. Do you have Do you have the Autumn Wind? Uh, no. Oh. Where are my it's? Can I check my malts? I do. Ooh. I'm gonna use it. Okay. Oh, I still have well rested. But yeah, Knucklehead Radar is actually kind of nice. It's just a really nice quality of life improvement. What? It's a good quality of life improvement. What is? Um, knucklehead your, your radar. The knucklehead um, radar improves quality of life a lot. That's what I was saying. I bet all the viewers are they are tired of me saying that. Like, you said that three times in a row. Even though at most this video is going to get around 20 views probably. Now I'm running uh, Autumn Wind, a double, uh, a double Void, and Nether X in. Okay, let's actually, see if, let's see if I can frag out this round. Walk. I'm going to swap to my Devourer. Dead. I just made the crest go flying. No, no, no. Oh. Vortex grenade. Right. This is supremacy, right. which isn't as good as clash or control. Yeah, I don't like it. I swapped to the. Oh no! After we already started, so I don't have anything. Rep. I haven't been able to test this gun yet. Whoa, okay. Pretty good. Okay. 
I may be testing myself too much here, but I, I don't know. No, no! Positive outlook. We're trying to make our own meta. Come on, guys. Stop using meta guns. They're gonna just devour. Even though technically this, this gun is meta. The sins of the piss. Can you hear me, GC? Yeah. Okay. I have a stream remote on, so it doesn't make that notification when I, uh, or it doesn't make that sound when I, um, swap to the, uh, Go. when I swap. Oh! This guy killed me and he ran off the edge. What? This guy, he killed me because I, I totally screwed up and then I he to... uh, I totally screwed up and he just killed me and he fell off right after he killed me interesting oh autumn wind okay I'm not fragging out of this game um Jimmy um, my my editor Jimmy uh, don't put this game in the video okay thank you Jimmy Oh, nice. I just activated my devourer. <laughs> Saved me. Devour is really good when you're using, like, swords. Also, the strategy for yeah, swords oh, is to block. Is it activated if you're using a sword? What? Is it activated if you're using a sword? If you have devour and, like, if yeah. you have the effect already by, like, eating a grenade. Uh oh. Well, I'm saying, that, can it activate the Uh, no. Because it's not melee ability. Haha, ha. ah, Telesto. Oh, that was close, but I managed to get that. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that was a uh, jump scare. Yeah. Definitely. What? I said that was a jump scare. Because some guy jumped from the corner and instantly made me. Oh, is that the Tolesto? Mine? Yeah. yeah. You got outplayed. But I don't know. No! Why did I peek? At least you secured my crest that I put on the ground. Uh -huh. Ooh, is that a double? Butamus. Let's get more sweet kills. I'm gonna swap to my better double. Oh, did you see that? Oh, oh, and I think in, I'll, I'll go back, or Jimmy, my editor Jimmy, uh, which is definitely a real person, will go back and I will see if I killed two people with one burst. It looked like I did there, Jimmy. Oh no. Give me that crest. I'm sorry, are you using the meta boy? What? I said, sorry, are you using the meta? Me? No, this boy. Where is he? This guy just blinked over my Telester. Wow, I wasted my golden gun. And he jumped off the edge. Yeah, I used my golden gun and he, he like escaped. Okay, that's too far of a range. Oh, Autumn Wind versus Autumn Wind. Autumn Wind wins. Wow, no one could have ever guessed. Oh, let's do nice. that. I think you're getting more crests than me. Wow, someone on our team is still doing better than us. I cannot stand such a horrid uh, thing. I almost killed him. That's a joke. What? I said, someone's doing better than us. I cannot stand such a horrid thing. <laughs> but then I was like, yeah, that's a joke. Ooh, that guy has an overshield. I don't want to say hi to him. I want to find a group of enemies to Nova Bomb. 
I want to find a dawn blade to not kill me, which definitely did kill me, and I wasted my throwing knife. Uh, I found him. Get the heavy. Okay, hopefully this time I'll actually use my rockets to their full potential. Blinking. Interesting. It wasn't blinking. Okay, that's an overpowered blast radius. Also, you cannot seal my crest, bro. I saw that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they're from everywhere. I got double, but I didn't get the crest because they killed me. Rip. Someone collect their crest. And that's why uh, Skull of Dire Ahamkara is the best uh, exotic in the game. Obviously. Okay, I do not even want to be any part of that, but I will anyways. Deja vu, I've just been in this place before. Higher on the street, and I know it's my time to go. Do you just what? I got the young car seeker for boots. I said. Oh, it sounded like you said young Ahamkara's boots. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those. Wait, what's? I mean, this was my score. No, not tarantula. A 3.0 KD. That wasn't as good, but hey, at least I secured first place over maxster boy at the end there oh you got first <laughs> yeah nice. okay i think that's gonna be it for this disney 2 uh crucible video we'll probably record more and this was almost ender and goodbye